Hey guys, welcome back to Sophisti Cakes by Mary. For this tutorial, we're gonna go back to my favorite and a lot of yours also, an abstract modern cake. This time we're doing a square version and I'm using some distressed crackled fondant. And I'm also gonna show you how I made these isomalt toppers using just isomalt and some ice cubes. First thing we're gonna do though is get our cake crumb coated. This is obviously, as you can see, a four tiered cake. A, or, sorry, four layered cake. And it is, I believe, six inch square tier or layers in this cake. And I'm just doing a crumb coat, which is basically locking in your crumbs with a thin layer of buttercream. You can use ganache, you could use Swiss meringue, you could use any kind of buttercream that you choose. And once we get this smoothed down, we're gonna pop it in the refrigerator to firm up a little bit. And then we'll do the second coat. But I also wanted to point out here the way that I get my crisp corners. You'll see it a little bit more when I do the other coat. Actually, I'll, you know, hold on to that. I'm gonna explain that later. But for now, we're gonna talk about the distressed fondant. What I have is some pieces, it's a combination. I have some pieces that I had left out overnight to crust over, and then I also have some pieces that um, I am going to show you how to crackle when you don't have time to let it set out overnight. This piece was set out overnight. All of these here were. And since it's soft on the inside still and crusted over on the outside, it will still roll out. I didn't even bother kneading them. I just took the chunks and just rolled them out. And here I'm gonna show you how to do this if you don't have um, the time to let it set out overnight. We're just gonna roll it out and roll it out to about a quarter of an inch thickness. You don't wanna roll it too thin because you won't have much left when you do the crackle. I'll explain that in a second here, but what I'm doing is just using my creme brulee torch and I am just basically caramelizing the top of this piece of fondant. It's actually cooking the fondant, it's melting it. And then when it hardens up, when it uh, cools off, you get this crust, you get an automatic crust. And you can see here how when I move it, it's crackling. And I love that look. Um, but I did set that aside for a little bit while I did my second coat of buttercream on this cake. And um, this is where I'm gonna show you how I, well, I'm gonna show you really quick. <laughs> Apparently I move very fast. What I do is I work in from the corners into the middle of each side. That is how I get my corners. Work your way from the outside in. That way you are not dragging that fondant away from, or I'm sorry, that buttercream away from the corner as much. And then I like to pull the top corners in. First, pull them from the corners in and then do the pieces or the sections in between the corners. That's how I, how it works best for me that way. Now I did this with the same torching with the black as I did with the royal blue. Now, since this is abstract, we're just kind of piecing it together. And you can see that since they are thicker, on the thicker side, I have a little bit more room to blend these together and get some crackled effect. And if you need to, you can move pieces around so you don't have just a stark line in between the two. I did a lot of just messing around in, until I got it where I wanted it. And I am adding a little bit of water. It didn't want to stick. Sometimes you don't really need to, but since I was going to do the paneling method on this, um, I was going to have to pick it up. So I didn't want it to fall apart on me. So I went ahead and added some water just to kind of glue the pieces together. But when you do that, make sure that you have enough um, cornstarch underneath your fondant and enough on top so that you're not um, sticking to the counter or to your roller. And I knew how wide this cake is. I'm sorry, how tall it is and how how far around it the cake was. The circumference, I guess is the word I'm looking for. So I'm rolling it out to that measurement. And I wanted to add a little bit of white in there also, just for a little bit of contrast. Now I'm not so worried about that middle section. I want it to blend smoothly together, but still um, be abstract but I knew I was going to do a fault line with this cake, so I was going to be cutting some of that out. Now 
All right, now, I know it looks kind of like a hot mess, but it does come together. You just have to, this is one of those trust the process situations. And here's where I'm cutting off the excess. And I didn't get rid of those pieces. I held on to those off cuts because I knew I needed some on the top. And I just kind of pieced it together on the top also. I suppose you wouldn't have to, but I knew I wanted some of that fault line um, pieces or sections to be on the top too. So I'm just brushing on a little bit of shortening. And then I'm rolling up the fondant onto, it's just a dowel. You can use a rolling pin also, but I prefer a dowel. It just works better for me. And I'm putting cornstarch on it so that it's not sticking to itself. Now this will want to kind of fall apart a little bit here and there while you're doing it, but that's okay because this is a distressed abstract design. That is okay. It can be whatever you want it to be. Don't worry too much about it. And I'm just smoothing it and trying to get rid of any air bubbles it might have got trapped in there. And if you do have air bubbles and you can see them, just use... um just a sharp knife or a pin you can use a pin you can use you can use an exacto knife um so anything sharp to just pop it now cut off the excess i tried to make sure that that happened on a corner it's a little bit easier to smooth on a corner like that because that's a good break point and then to add to more to the uh, the um the rustic feel not rustic that's not the word i'm looking for what is it organic feel i am just tearing an uneven line on the top. And I will do the same with the fault line, but first I need to cut it off, cut it out first. And I'm just doing an, uh, just a random, not uniform cut all the way around. And then you just remove that piece of fondant, just pull it out. And if that buttercream underneath sticks to it a little bit, that's okay, but our cake is chilled, so you're not gonna have too much of that. I popped it back in the refrigerator after I put the fondant on just to kind of firm up a little bit and then I'm making that more of a rustic I keep saying that organic line around the fault line also and we're still kind of looking like a hot mess but I promise you it will come together and this is where I'm just piecing um, the extra fondant the offcuts from the black on the top and then I went back in and I actually did some more they're kind of like fissures to me. Um, I did a little bit more of those throughout the fondant pieces because I wanted to have a good bit of gold. You could do whatever metallic you want. I'm just always attracted to gold as you know if you watch my videos much. And then we're doing our ISO malt. Now I just made it according to the package directions. Put some ice in these glass measuring cups and just poured it over. And to get them out once they have cooled, which happens very quickly, I just put some hot water, filled the measuring cup up with hot water because that melts the ice. And then you're left with this really cool coral-esque kind of isomalt decoration. You could use this in um, like an under the sea cake with different colors. It, that works really well for that. In fact, that's where I got this inspiration. I thought, why not use this technique um, on an abstract cake because this is definitely an abstract shape and I love the blue I didn't marble or blend the blue all the way in when I had the isomalt in the pan I just kind of swirled it around a little bit so that it, it was um, not solid all the same color I don't know if you can really tell but I thought I'd give that a try anyway and now I'm just using my clothes steamer to remove that cornstarch that you use when you are rolling out your fondant. And this is where you start seeing it kind of come together. When you get the mess of the cornstarch off, you can kind of see what's happening now. And then I just went in with my gold edible gold paint, which is just gold luster dust mixed with, I prefer Everclear because I find that I can get away with one coat instead of having to go back for more. But if you don't want to use Everclear, you can use vodka. And if alcohol is a problem, you can just use um, lemon extract works well too. And I'm just painting on the buttercream. And um, if, like I said, if that buttercream didn't, if you're, if, I'm sorry, if your fondant didn't pull away from your buttercream real cleanly, like it didn't for me either, I just went with it. Cause remember this is a um, organic type of design. It doesn't need to be smooth. This is abstract. It can be whatever you want it to be. Mm -hmm. 
Now I just used some piping gel, just a little piping gel on these pieces. Now a little hint too, when you take them out of the water, put them on a piece of parchment paper or a silicone mat. If you put them on paper towels or a towel, anything like that, with it's going to stick and you don't want that because they're a little bit tacky while they're cool, while they're drying. So there it is guys, I hope you liked it. I had a really good time getting back to uh, my more abstract modern type of design. Took a little break, but I hope you liked it and I hope you got some inspiration from it. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video. And if you'd like to watch some other videos, go ahead and click on the link to one of these other videos shown here. And if you would like to check out my other social media, I am on Facebook and Instagram under the same name, Sophisticates by Mary. And please take the time to share like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you know when I upload another video. Thank you so much, and we'll catch you on the next tutorial.